Hey guys, Silver Sam here. So I wanted to make this video. I've been, I've, I don't know why, but it's really been getting to me that I, I had to make this video. I wanted to make this video, and I've been, a, I've been a huge Silver follower now for about five years, ever since 2015, 2016, around there, five, five or four years. Um, and and this video is basically on on where prices are going. What do you think about price? That's the hot topic right now as far as gold, silver, and other precious metals. And I got to tell you, the other night, I was, I was, I was in bed laying down, and I'm thinking, because I was a little bit short on some bill, particularly my car insurance payment. And I, I started thinking to myself, I was like, you know what, I, I can go ahead and sell 10 ounces of silver. Now, I'm, I'm based out of New Jersey, and in New Jersey, there's not a lot of coin shops, not a lot of bullion shops. Um, and the only place I can go and sell bullion to is the pawn shop the pawn shop gives you about 70 percent so i'm there and i'm calculating i'm like you know what if this was when silver was at 24 dollars i have 10 ounces 10 ounces at 24 bucks that's 240 240 70 percent of that is about 168 170 around there and it was at that moment where i i just i, I didn't feel comfortable selling it and it was so weird because i'm, I'm a person that i will sell anything I've sold Xboxes, PlayStation, sneakers, stocks. I've sold silver in the past. I've sold gold in the past. And I just sat there in bed and I was like, I, I thought about the actual process of the transaction. I thought about me handing a 10 ounce silver bar and getting back $160, $170. And I was like, you know what? That's not a fair trade. Now again, I'm a person that I will sell anything. I, I, I hold no attachment to anything. I will sell whatever. And it was at that moment when I was like, wow, if, if I'm not willing to let go of a 10 ounce bar, I have, I have many ounces in, in a safety deposit box. I know it goes against the silver stacking community not to keep these in, in the banks, but I've had it in the banks for about five years now. So it, it helps me sleep at night. So I just rather not have it around or have it buried somewhere I don't know um but the point is that at that moment I was like and 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 the question hit me and I was like you know what how much would I let go of a 10 ounce silver bar and I was like what if somebody offered you $40 I was like $40 10 ounces that would be 400 bucks and I was like I, I still wouldn't let it go like I, I I it was weird it was a weird thing again because I've because I will sell anything. So it really got to me. And I was like. Me personally. I would only sell my silver. For about $100 an ounce. $100 an ounce. Seems somewhat fair to me. At this time. Now. If you look at the national debt clock. You can see that. Silver is valued at over four grand, four thousand dollars per ounce. As far as. Uh, the amount of paper, the dollar per silver ratio. So there's about four thousand dollars in paper money for every one ounce of silver. And these numbers seem, it they don't seem so far fetched when you really think about it. And you're like, and and I thought about myself. I was like, okay, what well, what if somebody offered you forty thousand dollars for ten ounces, given four dollar four thousand dollars an ounce? And I was like, you know what? Then then I would. I would sell. I would even sell it for a hundred, or a, maybe even a thousand dollars an ounce. And I know I said a hundred, but at that moment I was like, you know what? It, it, this is this is highly undervalued. Uh, this this is the first video. I hope you guys gained some of it. Where do I personally see silver going? I see it keep going up, probably fifty, fifty to hundred dollars. But again, silver silver is a very hard topic to to predict the price because with everything it, it deals with supply and demand and the fact that there's hundreds of millions of ounces of silver being produced every year it's kind of hard to make silver go up now gold on the other hand I can firmly attest I can firmly give you a, a proper guidance that I see gold going to about ten thousand dollars an ounce about five to ten years from now simply because the law of supply and demand gold is being consumed and I mean it is actually being consumed 
I've seen ridiculous YouTube videos about gold wings, gold pizza, gold burgers, gold ice cream. Such ridiculous amounts of, of waste of, of gold. Now, given the law of supply and demand, as supply decreases, the demand is going to increase, so it's going to drive prices up. I can, I can sleep well at night, giving you the guidance that I believe gold will hit. Now, this is a silver channel. I'm, I'm pro silver. I'm all about silver, but I also diversify into other metals as well. And I believe gold will hit ten thousand dollars an ounce within the next five to ten years. I put my name behind that. Silver should easily hit three digits. Now, again, I'm just a YouTuber. So I don't want you to take, you know, all this super hard and make financial decisions just based on me. But I've, I've been pretty successful and humbly, I can say. I don't want to brag on here. But that's that's basically where I see it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Uh, put, turn on your post bell notifications and make sure you leave leave qu uh, comments any questions that you may have any guidance you may need uh, this is silver sam signing out um what else what else what else i'm going to be covering a lot of other topics i'm going to be covering gold other metals mistakes that i've made i've made several mistakes in the precious metals markets that's going to be my next video uh, again, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, guys. See ya.